Well, lots of folks in Kingsville were expressing thanks today to a city development group for agreeing to buy the Kingsville Record and Bishop News, a newspaper that was about to shut down after King Ranch said it didn't plan to foot the bills anymore. King Ranch has run that paper since 1953. Our Michael Gibson has the story from Kingsville. We decided to come to Kingsville today because we thought this was going to be the final edition of the Kingsville Record, a newspaper that had been in existence for over 100 years. But then, take a look at the front page. Kingsville Record to continue under new ownership. I learned that the Kingsville Record was going to close from you in Channel 3. And uh, when you called me, I, I was a little bit uh, taken off guard. I didn't know what was going on. Kingsville Mayor Sam Fugate says that negotiations are just about wrapped up and that the Kingsville Area Industrial Development Foundation will be taking over the newspaper from the King Ranch. That newspaper will put out its first edition on December the 19th. We're going to make a go of it. I mean, the city's committed, the county's committed, the King Ranch is committed to make the paper work. And, uh, and so uh, it was here for what, 100, it's been here for over 100 years and we're gonna work on that second 100 years hopefully. Here inside Harold's Pharmacy in the historic downtown district is one of the most popular lunch spots in town. Folks here were happy that the paper was going to be saved. Well, we enjoy the Keysville record. We've gotten it uh, for quite a few years. I think it's great news because a lot of it, you know, they get to feature like the schools, um, children having their activities that, you know, and they get to post it in the newspaper as well. And of course, any local news that we have in the, our small town of Keensville. Even those who work here behind the lunch counter were glad to hear the news. My dad really depends on, he loves the, the Keensville record. And I just like, now what am I gonna do without the paper? I was like, well, I don't know, dad. As long as, as long as we keep the price, you know, at 50 cents, the way it used to be, not at $2, you know, we'll be all right. <laughs> Mayor Fugate also says that there's a possibility that the newspaper operations will be moved to the Wilson Building, which is also here in the historic district. He also added that the staff of the current Kingsville record has agreed to stay on the job under the new ownership. From Kingsville, Michael Gibson, 3 News.